And the ceilings are only six and a half feet. So. It's as tiny as they come. Laurel Wynn is the newest owner of a train caboose. The former English instructor bought the 110-year-old structure for $45,000, knowing it was a project. Saw this, it was affordable, and I thought, I can retrofit it and probably do it for less than what it would cost me. I can do it the way I want it, so... That's the advantage to buying something that you can put your own stamp on. The structure is currently sitting on a commercially zoned lot and near train tracks. More importantly, it's not entirely suitable to live in yet, according to realtor Jennifer Crane. It's a very unique situation because it's not livable. You know, I wasn't selling it as a livable space. Um, there's no running water or sewage, no kitchens or bath or no kitchen or bathrooms. Um, so it was it was kind of tricky to sell. Despite having the basic needs, it was all the 64 year old retiree could afford to spend to get into the market. It's not good to be 64 and not be able to have options that you had when you were younger. It wouldn't be my ideal choice if I had a lot of other choices. Not that a huge home would be that choice either, but it would be nice to have a few more options. The average price of a home in the GTA has gone up 15% over the past year from just under 1.1 million to above 1.25 million. And as election season nears, leaders of Ontario's political parties say they're ready to tackle the issue. We're going to help people with first-time homeowners with their down payment because it, everything is so high in price right now. Even folks that thought that they had enough for a down payment have been have, have had to walk away. The average cost of a home is climbed half a million dollars on Doug Ford's watch. Ontario Liberals will fix that. PC leader Doug Ford plans to increase housing supply by speeding up the approval and construction process. Yes, to building 1.5 million homes. For prospective buyers waiting to break into the market, Wynn says it might be time to consider non-traditional housing and buy what you can safely afford. Amar Khan, Global News.